Hey everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm trying another carp fly. This is uh, the Black Betty. It's uh, It's been about for a while this pattern. Um, it was on the Mr. Mr. P's carp blog, or carp lodge or whatever blog. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. It's uh, Jim Pankovich, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Uh, that come up with the pattern. It's very, very effective in rivers and still waters. Um, it's just a weak and a scruffy thing that looks like it could be food, which is ideal. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, the monthly fly tying classes, as well as enter the giveaways. You can also like the video, share it, watch all the way to the end, that all helps the channel. So I've got my hook and my vise, now I'm using a Camazan B175 and this is a size 6, I, I would tie these in a size 6 and a size 10. Um, the original hooks are TMCO 3769 which is, for the sizes it's about the same shank length but it's got a narrower gape and it's not as strong, right? Um, the B175 is a stronger hook wider gapes, it's grabbier um, and I've never had one of these open out in a carp but I have had the TMCO hooks open out. I've started some black thread, this is UTC 140, um, 140's fine, you can use 70 if you wish. And I'm just going to lash on some black nickel brass dumbbells, you can use lead, you can use a black bead chain up to yourself and I'm just going to get them on, figure out them on, take some post and wraps at this stage you can still adjust them look for the front, make sure they're fine and I'm going to come down the shank back up and I'm going to get some red rubber legs um, I like red in this pattern, black works well White, white's good. Um, use what you like. I've just got to take a length, fold it over the thread, and catch it in right in behind the uh, dumbbells, and then stretch it, and come back to the start of the bend. Well, keep it under tension and just cover it all up. Yeah. Legs, legs, tail, whatever this is. Um, it's up to yourself. I think somewhere between like a shank and a hook length or around that is, is ideal. And you've got that, the two wee legs are sticking at the back. My rib and um, just gold wire. Um, but again, you can mix the colours up to suit. I know that I know that Jim does. Y years ago, I had a conversation with him about I was on some forum, I think, or on a Facebook group about the different hackles and all that. And you know, he's very much of the opinion that you know he, he would mix them up and change them and all that. Um, or he was at least. So I'm going to get peacock hero for the body. I've just got three strands for this size, just two on a size 10. Just catch them in, just draw them in the length of the body more or less. Tie them in. Maybe for a wee spot of durability. A wee bit of super glue. Then I'm going to wrap these the opposite way everything else goes, right? So these are getting wound towards myself. Holding a nice body. Come right up to the 
the beads, dumbbells. Ta no the material, ta no the hook. One in the material, one in the hook. Three's plenty. And then I'm going to come up with my rib. Count a rib in that as I go. Four or five. You decide what you like the look of and then do it all the same. And I'll take a full turn at the front. Catch that off. Tie it in. Bend and break it away. Now at this stage I'm going to take another set of figure eights around the dumbbells. And some yoke wraps. And come in and tighten them down. And that makes those eyes very, very secure. Just have a wee check everything as I like it. And the hackle. I'm using the sort of standard, which is pheasant, ring neck pheasant, dyed black. But um, brown's, the natural's good. Dyed, dyed red's really nice as well. You know, just suit. Tie it, suit the colours to where you're fishing, the water clarity, that kind of thing. I mean, I really like this, the black colour on a, on a bright sunny day in clear water. The, the carp just seem to like to pick it out. So, I'm looking for a feather with a barb length. That will sort of come out behind the hook, just beyond the hook bend. This one's no bad. I'm going to take away any of the fluffy fibres and I'll expose the tip. I'm going to tie it in with a good side facing me. Three turns, fold that tip back. Another three turns. I'm just going to leave that in there. You can break it out if you want, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to wind this. You'll only get a couple of wraps. Just use the whole feather. Just catch that in on my side. Nice and tight. Just gain it a wee check, that's fine. Fold that stem back. Just grab everything. Another three wraps, and I'll just skip my thread to the front. Snap that away. You can see you've got that sort of straggly, wispy hackle, which is ideal. That moves. There's plenty of movement without giving you the bulk of like a marabou wing. Up finish. Thread straight a wee bit there. Do another one. Cut your thread and then a wee coat of varnish. I'm just going to get a wee bit of free thread there. <coughs> and that's it. It's no hard flight to tie. Uh, I like it. Actually, the smaller sizes are often even better. Um, you can fish it like a nymph. You can fish it like a, you know, drag and drop it to them, whatever. It's it's a bit more subtle than some of the other flies, and it does it does work very well. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and I'll see you for another video. Take lines guys, bye.